So we're at DEF CON and you are a security researcher and this morning you did a presentation on hacking 22 devices in 45 minutes. Um, and what kind of devices were you guys demonstrating to be vulnerable? We really just wanted to show that anything that's internet connected, um, you know, with weak security can, can be a problem. Everything that we showcase could have been prevented um, based on securing your Wi-Fi network. So what we have here is this is the Wink Hub. What it is, it's a home automation gateway. It has multiple uh, communication chipsets within it. And what that allows it to do is pretty much communicate with anything smart home related that um, provides a public API for people to uh, develop on or whatnot. And so Wink so takes So I can that put advantage. it in my home and then I can, um, from afar, turn the lights on and off. Yeah, and, and lock and the, unlock doors. The idea is that it's it's you know all these devices come out. Each one of them have their own mobile app, and that ends up being kind of cumbersome. And so with this case, you know, you have one app that kind of does everything. Um, this particular uh, item is a lock. It's a smart lock that you can control from your Wink Hub, um, and all of them are just based on having the. Uh, Wink app, and then using that to communicate with your devices within your local area network. So it's convenient. It makes your home smarter. Yeah. There are all these things you can do exactly. remotely. But there is a problem with Wink. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, creating consumer devices, everyone makes mistakes, and, and you know, it, it, it can be tough. And so without proper, you know, auditing and uh, security practices, you know, it, it gets even tougher for the developers. And so. Um, the Wink Hub had a, a bug that allowed us to execute commands on it um, from within the local area network, and within that bug, we're actually able to talk to the devices that are connected to it. Since it has access to the devices, if you access the device, you can access all the peripherals that are connected. Okay. The first step is going to be I'm going to commun I'm going to connect to the device, and I'm going to get a listing of everything that's connected. So you're connecting so, to the Wink and seeing what it's controlling. Right. And so right now I'm viewing the connected. Uh, peripherals to the device and I see that there's a door lock connected. So the next step is actually going to be to go and look and see how to communicate with that device. So I go ahead and I check to see how it accepts communication and I have my listing here of exactly how I need to uh, tell it to lock and unlock the door and now I can... It looks actually, like it just says like lock true or lock false? Yeah, it tells me that it's a bool type variable, so I know it's going to be true or false. So okay. I know for me to lock it, it's either going to be true to lock or false to unlock. Okay. Um, and so that's that's why I need to know that, is just so I can identify the device itself, and then on top of that, be able to know how I can send it the command that it needs to lock or unlock. Okay. Let's go ahead and tell this guy to lock the door. You can see the door is locked now. Um, and now let's go ahead and tell it to unlock the door. So we have the one command right. to lock and the one command to unlock. Total of about three commands to, you know, first one to enumerate the devices, second one to determine how to communicate with them, and then third one to actually perform the command. And so a tech savvy thief is going to have to be pretty tech savvy because they're going to have to come up to this house, they're going to have to get on the network, um, and if it's hard to get on the network, if there's like proper protections around it, right. that would be a problem. Right. But they get on the network, they recognize the wink is there, and then they control the control the lock through the wink. Right. That would be the process. Um, yeah, and I mean they'd have to get past the Wi-Fi network security, of course. Um, and so that's why you know we always recommend that people have strong passphrases and they use you know the highest form of uh, security they can, which in this case would probably be WPA2 in most consumer devices. This this is kind of funny, but I, I really love the device itself, even though it had uh, a vulnerability in it, and I actually would recommend it to other people. I, I find it an interesting device, and short of fixing the bugs that we found, I, I actually like it. Do you have one at home? Uh, I do now. <laughs> <laughs>